Few things New Yorkers are as passionate about as their bagels. And one New Yorker found a way to share his passion with others. That brings us to Sam Silverman. He created Bagel Fest as a way to celebrate tradition and community through the beloved food. This year will mark the fifth annual Bagel Fest. And joining us now to talk all about it is Sam Silverman. Thank you for coming back. We had such a fun time with you last year. Thank you for having me. I can't believe it's here again. This is, it's, it, we're still a little ways away. I know early bird tickets are about to go on sale, but you have exciting news about the location this year. Absolutely, so Bagel Fest is moving to an iconic New York venue. I'm happy to announce we're going to City Field. Bagel I know Fest someone at who City Field. Uh, okay, thank you to the, to the audience. Th that is huge, congratulations. <laughs> thank you, thank are you. Are you so pumped up? Uh, extremely excited, I mean, the bagel is an iconic food. The Mets Are iconic you Mets organization. Fan? I'm actually a, a Red Sox fan. I grew up in Massachusetts. You'll see in my little self bagel portrait here. I got my Celtics jersey on. Uh, but okay, fine. The Mets are my New York it's team. It's still pretty iconic, and they're known for their food as well. So it's like a perfect marriage. Oh. Bagel Fest. What kind of things are people experiencing here? So we're gonna have some of the best bagel artisans from New York mm -hmm. and around the world. Uh, last time I was here, you tried the bagel from Montreal. I was just telling you, I still think about that often. I could not believe how good a bagel from Canada was. And not just that. They're making amazing bagels in Dallas, Texas, they winner of our year. best bagel last year. Uh, Florida, really all over the world. So we're gonna get together for one action-packed day full of sampling, both classics and inventive bagels, spread sandwiches, along with Bagel books, we've got cookbooks, children's books, we've got bagel art, crocheted bagels. Cro right here, you wanna yeah. check it out? This is insane, I mean, people love a bagel. Uh, love last a bagel. year you brought us Alex the Bagel Roller, will he be back again this year? Of course, we've got, our, we've got our bagel rolling competition. Oh boy. Alex tied for first. There's someone who could match his speed. Actually, it the guy from me Montreal. Marisol. It wasn't one of us, <laughs> f folks, if you remember. I, although I do think, I would like the records to show that I, was better than Marisol at this little activity. Anyway, we understand that not everyone at Bagel Fest is from New York, we discussed this. Yep. Dallas was the big winner last year. Yeah, Starship what, Bagel. Starship Bagel, thank you. What was, what was it about that bagel? They had the perfect crunchy exterior okay. while keeping the inside soft and doughy. They did a malt boil, so it had a beautiful golden sheen on the outside of their plain bagel. Sorry. That blew our judges away. Oh my God. And not only do we have a panel of expert judges, but every attendee is a judge themselves. So well, everyone yeah. will get a token uh, and they will get to vote and help us decide who the ultimate best bagel champion is the going to be. The illustrious trophy, folks. Um, okay, New Yorkers love a schmear. Can't no have bagels secret. without schmear. If you go to a bagel shop, there are, I mean, I personally love a scallion cream cheese. There's so many, there's a blueberry, there's plain old regular. There are so many different flavors. They're all made in a very interest interesting way. Correct. And I'm about to show you how they make this cream cheese. And our minds are about to be blown. <laughs> Let's do it. Do I need these gloves? So put oh, a glove well. on one hand. All right, one well, uh, right, right here. here. Okay. Um, so every shop, you know, makes house-made cream cheese, right? Yeah. Well, what they don't tell you is that the cream cheese, the base, is actually store-bought and then they mix in all their own fresh ingredients. Okay. So it's way better than a pre-mixed thing that you know they have to dehydrate all of those veggies okay. and fruits and whatever. Instead, they chop everything up fresh okay. and mix it in with one secret ingredient that we're about to unveil. I, can't, I already know what it is because it's sitting here on this table. One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> all right, let's do it. We'll okay, so what we're gonna do here is, uh, what kind of cream cheese are you gonna wanna make? The scallion, the scallion locks. Okay, mm -hmm. so grab some scallions. Okay. Sprinkle it in here. Grab a little bit of lox, sprinkle that in as well. Mm. Okay, as much, this is the other beautiful thing more. about doing this yourself. You can customize it to your exact, you're, you're going a little heavy on the lox right am. there. I um, love it, I he's love like, it. You can do whatever you want. You're going heavy on the lox. <laughs> okay, all right, what's okay, next? Okay, so now we're just gonna start to mix up the it's cream like cheese a little balls. bit. I love this. Okay, very easy. I do recommend doing this with gloves just for uh, ease of cleanup afterwards. Yeah. And now you can feel it's got a kind of thick texture yeah, to thick. it, right? How do we, we make it spreadable? We need to make that a little more spreadable. And the secret is seltzer water. What? Seltzer water, the bubbles help. Just give it a little bit of I... fluffiness. Do you make your own cream cheese aeration. at home? Absolutely. There's no other way to do it. Now, you can see that the carbon dioxide is already going to work. It's 
giving it a little more volume. It's gonna give it a little nicer mouthfeel. This is ridiculous. Than the thick, than the thick, just out the box, out the tub cream cheese. Mm -hmm. And in just a few minutes, with very little effort. My mind is blown. Look at this. We made we've got, cream cheese We've today. got a New York bagel style I schmear. I can do this at home. I'm this is perfect. Truly impressed. And with that. An easy cleanup. Just is it time to glass. eat yet, sir? I think it is about time. I'll take this Let's from you. Thank you. Um, so here we have some of these amazingly inventive schmears that you might find at is Bagel that a Fest. Cookie? It may or may not be a cookie. We have a blind taste test for Fine. you, Alex. And we're going to see which flavors you can identify. OK. So. Uh, Please. I like without this one further because it ado, looks like a funfetti. This one's also the easiest one, so I like it. Starting with a softball. Mm, tastes like cake batter. And it is indeed a funfetti cream cheese. So okay. you got that one right off the jump. I'm not so sure you're gonna get these other ones though. Um, Let's see. This looks like that ice cream uh, flavor, like the Cookie Monster. Mm -hmm. Did someone give you the notes to this test? No. Oh, it's a Cookie curious. Monster cream cheese. That's incredible. What else is blue with, with cookie <laughs> cream Thank you. Okay, all right. This next one is gonna stump you. I don't know which one you're gonna oh, pick. Oh, we have time for one more. One which more? What should I do? Okay, uh, let's do this one right here. Okay. This better not be like It's all good, flavor. it's all good. It all it's tastes like delicious. Rat flavor. Mm. Can you ID? Onion? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. It's a guacamole cream cheese. Oh my so God. So they put avocado into it with some onions, some tomatoes, cilantro, it. guacamole cream cheese. The sky's the limit when it comes to cream cheese, bagels, and you'll find them all at Bagel Fest. What? Wow. Sam, thank you. Always a good time when you come around.